Thank you. Um, pleased, uh, obviously. Um, delighted, actually, with the performance of our players against the top side. They are a top side. We know that. Um, delighted for the uh, Evertonians. Delighted for the old school Toffees as well, who support us because people do forget amongst all the question marks there's a lot of people when I'm, when I'm out and around here you know they do understand some of the challenges I've had and they do come up to me and say listen don't listen to all that we know what you're doing we know you're trying to work hard to change all the storylines and all that so thank you for them for listening and I thought they were terrific again tonight they were terrific Sunday after a really tough week for me the team and for the fans you know and I only asked them to stay connected I said look just give us your lot we'll try and give it back and we have done and uh, I'm pleased for the, 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 the club at large, really. Um, only second win in, in 30, I'm told, so very pleased. Questions I was going to get to just, just last week, we were talking about the aftermath that Chelsea getting, obviously, difficult conversations at Finch Farm in the aftermath of that. To go from that low to this high, you must be ever surprised this thing. Well, uh, I mean, uh, I spoke endlessly and you've all heard it. You know, when I got here, the, 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 the negativity around the whole club and the situation, some, some of the clubs opened it itself up to with different things to that, of course. And, but we've been trying endlessly. You know, I've been talking about changing the narrative and we, we get, you know, we get close and then just as we change it, we get the points taken off. Then we just begin the process and we get another couple of points taken off. Then we have a bad result and it just, it just you know, weighs back on top. The wave just crushes back on top of you. So I spoke to the group, how do we deal with that? Well, there's only us that can deal with it. You know, we're the only ones because football, whatever you think of it, the clubs can do what they want across the country. It starts on the pitch. It always starts on the pitch. And that's what makes football work. So it's our challenge to get it right. We've restarted the process. It's not a done deal. There's still, I said last week, there's, there's endless amounts of work to be done here. Trust me. I've been trying to wade my way through it with others, not just me, um, trying to sort of balance it all out a little bit. There's still loads to go, but the, the last two games have been a real, um, a real what's the word, uh, um, a forceful show of a reaction to a group who, you know, the noise change, you don't care. Of course we care. How would you not care? How can you do my job and not care? It's impossible. How are your staff? It's impossible to not care. It's impossible as a player to not care. There might be moments when you get questioned about how do you react, and the reaction has been fantastic from all concerned. The staff, the players, the fans as well. Where was that game one tonight? Sorry? Where was that game one tonight for you? Or? I think I think it was um, one in the, the, the tactical delivery of the team. You know, we get questions on that. I said recently, you know, sometimes the tactics are right, it's the delivery. The delivery was excellent, I thought. You know, the, we know they have possession. It's very rare they don't. We know they can hurt you in different ways with their tempo on transition. Um, they can still find moments, which they did, and Jordan made a couple of big saves. Um, they had one that cannoned off the, the inside of the post. Um, but I thought the, the performance and the level of performance was, was top draw. I thought, you know, the, the commitment physically uh, to do the hard yards, but also the shape. And, you know, the concentration and focus to do the, the hard part of the game. Everyone wants to play the beautiful stuff. Of course they do. Make no mistake. Whether I get questioned or not is irrelevant. I want to play beautiful football if I can, but I want to play winning football. That comes first. And that's where I thought was on show tonight, a group that really put their lot on the line to win a game. And what's it like in that dressing room right now? Yeah, really pleased. Um, you know, the biggest challenge of all, I, I commended them, obviously. Um, not just, in, to, you know, the reaction rather than just tonight. I mean, it means a lot to the, the club and the people who work here and the fans, of course. Um, but not just that, but the, the, the reaction to recent news, the reaction from a group of people who say, right, come on, let's get our nose pointed in the right direction, all of us. We spoke about it endlessly. said, anyone's not on board, come and see me. No one can see me. And I remind them of that. I say, well, that's a good sign. And they've gone to deliver tonight. But the next challenge, as I've just said to them, can we go and do it again then? I said, that's the next challenge. I said, it doesn't stop just because it's big results. So I said, we come in tomorrow, we get ready and we go again. And that'll be the challenge. So the Saturday comes out, we're ready to go again. Sure. Hey. How good was uh, Dominic tonight? Yeah, first class. Um, 
I said to him afterwards that that sort of performance, if you can get that consistency of that performance, that's what gets people talking about you. That's what gets you around that England team again, um, because that's a first class performance against top top players, top side, and um, the hold up play, the the controlled aggression to his play, the commitment to get hold of the ball and fight for it, but also his finishing. I mean, I love the one. Um, <clears throat> I think Jared gets it in the end, doesn't he? But he's sprinting on the line to just tow it in. I love that. That's what you want from strikers. You want them to be hungry to score goals. So that's a sign when he's on top. That's a sign for me when he's active. Um, you know, going in there on a maybe, can he just get it over the line? I love that. And then his header is, is a fantastic header and a great set piece as well. And Jordan, Jordan, you are yeah, particularly the first half. Second half, just some control, good hands. Um, but, but but the first half, I thought, you know, two very important saves. And, you know, rare breaches of our defence. I thought the defensive unit from the front to the back, by the way, I don't, I don't just mean the back sort of five with a goal there. Yeah, I thought that was excellent. The commitment, the midfield, the pressing, recovering, you know, all the hard yards um, was intact. And I thought it was a very, very good. For Young is well coming. I think it was a really tough one to come on into. I thought it was excellent second half, without a doubt. And fans look like they were enjoying the last 10 minutes. Were you able to enjoy it as well? That's a different kind of enjoyment. I don't I get too excited about these things. It's, this is for the people. Well, you know, 10 days ago, people are telling me I don't know what I'm doing. 10 days later, they say, you do know what you're doing. Then that's my job. That's the way it goes, you know. So I internally enjoy it, though. Make no mistake. I internally enjoy nights like tonight. But it's this one's definitely for the club and for the fans, without a doubt. Paddy? <clears throat> John, the team's been so strong with set pieces throughout the season. Why do you think they dominated again so much tonight? I think we've helped play our part in instilling the belief in the importance of them. Um, a belief in the work, the staff, by the way. and they, Massive credit to them. I, I don't do the set pieces. I know what they are, but I don't do them. The staff analyse them. They work on them. They put the team through them, and it's them that deserve credit for that side of things. Um, and, and, you know, that's a, it's a big part of football. Why wouldn't you use them? We've always believed in it. Um, and today shows why, really, because it's a tight game. They, you know, they're a top side. How, you know, how can you open them? How can you affect it when you don't have so much of the ball? So, therefore, you've got to break the play, which I thought we did on many occasions, and you've got to find the moments. And, and why not use set pieces to be one of their moments? So I thought we looked a threat all night again. How much did you tweak game to game within the set pieces? I mean, tonight, for example, it seemed like Jared and... Tarkovsky in particular will find it. Yeah, I'm not going to say that, am I? That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> well, check on metal ankle, Sean. Yeah, but we'll, we'll know more tomorrow, but he's, he's, he's soldiered on first half, bless him, and uh, half time. He's, he's an ankle, by the way, but we won't know more until tomorrow. Um. It's not as satisfying as the last game of the last season. Simple as that, you know, because that was the job, staying in the Premier League. Um, it's satisfying for different reasons. It's satisfying for the people. I mean it sincerely. I'm it's second in 30 and all that, you know, that's about the people. It's about the people who grew up, Evertonians, the new Evertonians, the, the people who work at the club. It's satisfying in that way um, to give something back. And it's more satisfying when you've been heavily questioned. I think that's satisfying in a different way, not for me, for my staff, the team as well. Um, but no, it's a different kind of satisfaction. Last game of last season, that's that satisfaction, trust me. Any further questions? No? Okay. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.